Hey folks, I'm Mike, Kilo Echo Zero, Victor India Mike. This is the Traveling Ham. We're going to talk a little bit of gear organization today. So you might have noticed over the last year, I started running my radio in this little Nanook 909 case, which I found to be a little too small. I then ordered a Nanook 910 case just a bit bigger, give you a good size comparison of those two. A bit probably isn't very fair. It's, it's a decent size bigger. Uh, and ran with this, with my radio in here, uh, for most of this season. And after doing that, I've found that this size is just a hair too big for my purposes, uh, for the pack, for my day pack that I put this in. I forget how many liters that day pack is. But this just tends to, you know, this bolt just tends to kind of fill up the space. Uh, and this is, as you can see, quite a bit less. Their thickness uh, is about the same. This is, this is a bit thinner, but we're talking, you know, fractions of an inch. And that does make a difference because as this sits in my bag, I tend to have a water bladder here underneath it and maybe my little laptop sitting on top of it. And that gets it pretty full. So, you know, going to this a little slimmer, you know, makes a pretty big difference. Is it, is it the width of my phone? Yeah, about the width of my phone, maybe a little less uh, is the difference between the two. So I've gone back to the Nanook 909 case and I've got my, you know, I've put my camera gear in here. My camera gear was a little crammed in this case. So it got upgraded to the, to the bigger house. And I now have, my radio, the 891, now lives in this red case. Now I'm going to work a little bit more on finalizing this over uh, this winter. Uh, I've mentioned a couple times I want to get a, more of a permanent mount for the, for the face of the radio so it either sits up here in the lid and folds out or maybe it's attached you know, with some sort of L bracket down in the bottom underneath the radio here, and then it has an arm that folds up like so, and I can manipulate and, and tilt to be able to see. I definitely want to keep that, that feature, as I love being able to tilt this thing. You know, the days of this thing laying on a table and, and you know, I'm having to crane my neck to, to see what's on the screen, those days are over, uh, using the adjustable, the adjustable face angle. I love that aspect, and I'm definitely going to keep that. But I've been using this bulky thing to attach it to here and I have to work it all the time. I, I, you know, I got different things I can do with this. Um, I'm going to build something in there. Maybe even some connections for a battery and an antenna so that's a little cleaner as well. But I had all kinds of other little things within here. All my little bits and bobs, uh, my audio cables, my CW key. Uh, my DigiRig 891 setup, all that was, was part of this kit with the, with the yellow box. That all needs a home now because it doesn't fit in here. This is just big enough for the radio, the face, and the microphone. And potentially something to attach the face to. <clears throat> so I think this is the size that I'm going to go with and I'm going to build out. I'm glad I didn't build anything out permanently this year because I needed to get the the feel for that and and uh, and this has worked really well. I like using these cases as opposed to just the rails because I a lot of times don't have a clean place to put my radio and I just kind of cringe putting my radio down in the dirt. So being able to set it out in the field just like this even if it's down on the ground uh, makes me feel quite a bit better. Uh, but I like that aspect and I like the you know the little extra bulk is okay just to be able to set it down on the ground and not have my radio down in the dirt. Also, while it's in my pack with my three liter water bladder, as it sits now, this is a waterproof container. So nothing is gonna damage it there. I don't have to worry about putting it in a, in a dry bag uh, like I've done in the past when I just have my radio in my, in my pack. So that helps with that as well. So with all those bits and bobs not fitting in this case anymore, they needed a new home. And that brings me to the point of this video, which are these pouches that were sent to me by Clayton at Shadow Circuits. 
uh, and he's got a, a series of pouches like this. Uh, you can see them on his uh, channel, which is named Ham Shack Down. Uh, I'll provide a link to both his website and his YouTube channel. But this is, I think this is going to be my solution. He, uh, Clayton contacted me and offered to send me these uh, for review and for my use. You know, product reviews aren't something that I can just do a whole lot of. Uh, honestly, it's really one of the weak parts of my channel. Uh, living in 300 square feet and sharing that with three other people, I just don't have a whole lot of room. And I, I just can't be taking products all the time and doing reviews. Getting things shipped to me is a royal pain in the butt. So, you know, it's one of the weak parts of my channel that I don't do a whole lot of product reviews. So when I do, you know, it's something uh, that's, that's really going to make a difference for me personally and something I intend to use if it's going to take up uh, precious limited space in my RV. But this is basically what I'm doing. I'm going from the size of this case down to this case and this pouch. And the way this fits in my pack, if you can imagine, it's sitting on top of a round water bladder here. Now I've got some space where I can slide this in, this pouch in that's got all my bits and bobs in it. And I'm and I'm ahead of the game. So so that's worked out great for me. So this is all the stuff that I keep in there. <clears throat> my audio cables. So there's the splitter and the cable that goes to the microphone that you hear uh, through the radio. Here's my 891 DigiRig setup that I'm using for my, my digital mode operations I'm doing once a month now. The CW key that I've taken a little break on, but I'm about to hit full go. There's going to be a lot of CW content coming up. Uh, and I got a journal and a... This is the right in the rain notebook and a couple of pencils. I've also been keeping this bulky thing in here, but that doesn't really show up well when I have it in there because it's it's just too big to be in there. And that's not a long-term plan anyway. So he's got a number of different size pouches here uh, available. Uh, of the of the pouches that are this style, this is the largest one. This is I got my notes here, so I get the sizes right. This is a seven by twelve. So that's the one I'm using for all the bits and bobs. I've get, there's another one here that's a seven by seven. And this one is a five by eight. And there is a four by 10 as well. So if you just had some wires like the, the DigiRig 891 set up that could go in there, I could have my, you know, my audio cables in there. This is way too much audio cable for what I need, but that's just the size I could find. The splitter, all that stuff would fit in here nice. So this is nice for some, uh, any kind of audio connections that you got to make. That's a great size for that. But this is the size, I'm using the big 7x12 uh, pouch for all of this stuff with the red case. This is 1000D uh, Cordura Nylon. Pretty high quality stuff. The, the zipper is nice and smooth. I've been using this on my last uh, my last few outings. The two out at uh, the two out in Kings Canyon and the one in uh, Sequoia National Park. Uh, I was using this gear on, and you know it's a fairly simple product. There's not a whole lot to it, uh, but it's nice at the same time. Uh, it's thoughtful. The little handle is nice, so I can when this goes down in in the bag, I can have the handle on the you know on the upside, so I can pull it out nice and easy. Uh, he's thought to have little pull tabs that are that are sturdily attached here on the end, so you got something to hang on to when you zip. Just you know, as simple as it is, it's pretty well thought out. So there's two colors thus far. We got the coyote tan, uh, which is nice. I like this one. So he calls this his antenna pouch, and this is in uh, a black camo, which I think is a pretty cool color. But uh, you know, I I requested from Clayton to send everything to me in and coyote tan, because I think that'll show up better on camera as opposed to something that's black and camo. is just naturally going to be harder for you to see. But it's good to have one that's a sample. So this, this came to me uh, in black camo, and I've got my, my Nelson antenna 40 meter half wave in here uh, with a good deal of rope, and it all fits in there uh, nice, nice and easily. You know, I think one way I can use another one of these this is my, like I said, I've been using this for my camera case here. There's uh, all kinds of little loose ends in here. I got some things that are already 
fairly well organized, but let's see, I don't want to reuse that one. Maybe I'll try this, this seven by seven pouch and we'll see. I've got just this silly little Ziploc bag of my memory cards that I can put in there. Just a lot of little loose gadgets. That's actually a wire for the radio I don't need. I need to get that out of there. There's a little, a little uh, USB connector there. Uh, I've got these awesome little uh, aluminum handles for these clip onto my phone. So my phone, I've got this aluminum case around it and it's got all these attachment points all the way around. And these guys can just, they got a little spot they can clip on right there and I can tighten that down and now it's attached. It's attached to the phone. And uh, there's the other one at. So these are pretty cool. I love, I love being able to hold my phone like this to film and I don't have my hands potentially on the lenses, covering the lenses or touching the lenses. You know, there's a Bluetooth button right there. I can, I can hit record. I've got points I can attach things to it. Like there's a cold shoe mount right here. Uh, the, so the, what you're hearing the audio through, I could mount it, the receiver right here and plug it in there and, and get my audio in that way. Uh, I've enjoyed this this camera setup, and I haven't even begun to use it to its full capability. But you know, here's here's more of these parts that I could keep in there. Uh, there's some magnetic parts to attach my phone to my gimbal. They could go in there. I just doesn't even need to be in there anymore. A uh, tripod that can stay out. But there we go. Now I've Instead of having all these loose things running around here in this case, I have them nice and contained in a pouch. So that works out a lot better for my storage solutions. So there you go. Uh, his name is Clayton. His YouTube channel is Hamshack Down, which I think is pretty clever. I'll put a link to both his YouTube channel and his website uh, so you can check those out uh, for yourself. I believe all these products are ready for sale and uh, word from him is there's going to be more stuff in the future in terms of uh, a backpack, a chest rig, a few other products like that. So I think this is going to be one to watch with these things being, you know, these simple things being so well thought out. Uh, I'm going to be interested myself in looking into the backpack and the chest rig. I do have a chest rig that I'm running right now that I'm fairly happy with. Uh, but you know, if he were to come out with something, something a little better that might work better for me, you know, I'm certainly want to try that out. The pack, I really think I would want to try out and I might use it depending on how it looks. I might uh, replace my satellite pack. I've got a, a small, you know, like a, just a regular book bag size pack that I keep all my satellite gear in. So I might look at switching that out with his pack uh, when that's available in the future. I don't know if it's the near future. Sometime in the future, I'll take a look at that. But just wanted to take some time today to make you aware of this new product available, designed by another ham for hams uh, in your portable radio adventures. I'll put some links in the description. Check them out and see what you think. I'm Mike, Kilo Echo Zero, Victor, India Mike. This is the Traveling Ham. We'll see you next time. Okay, folks, here's the deal. I'm at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. This is going to be a special. One of the most intense trails. This is the operating station. That's a bear. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? The traveler has I just do things. This is a huge, beastly, bulging man. Plates were from Kansas.